Hi y'all, this is Gil. So this is the, a video about bikes today. Well, the two bikes that I bought in the last week or so and how I compare with them. Now this one right here, I got the Schwinn Solara at Target. It was $220 or 219 plus tax and everything. And this one, this is actually an eBay bike. It's $200. It's actually something that you could buy for $200 with shipping and everything. $200 flat for this bike. And it's a, um, it's like an off-branded bike, sort of. I think they call this a King Tut bike or something, like the brand. And this is a aftermarket Euro bike. It's something that you could find on eBay for $200 flat out. And then they have the model with the mag wheels, which I actually wanted. But I, I got this bike from a private seller because I just happened to come around it, come around a private seller selling that bike. And it, it's a brand new bike too. And, he, and I got it for 160 from that private seller. And it was nice because I didn't have to wait for shipping or anything. Well, anyway. So the, to compare the two bikes, I would say that um, <clears throat> this one, well, this is a, um, the Schwinn. It's like, like, I feel like when I compare the two, because I rode them already. Well, I rode this one for like at least a good 20 miles. And then I rode this one only a couple miles yesterday, going up that same hill. Like, like so if I would compare the two, I would feel that this one is probably a little bit more faster than, than that one is. And I think one reason why, a couple reasons behind that, I feel like it's because I'm, this bike is like, is more, uh, it's, it's more made for racing. Because, uh, well, like, because how I know that or how I could say that, it's because of this sprocket right here. This is a 14 speed bike. And the sprocket is a bit bigger. It's a big sprocket comparing it with this one. Because on this Euro bike, it's like the uh, the sprocket is is like of a mountain bike. It's just like the mountain bike um, sprocket assembly and crank assembly. And then even like the pedals. While well, the pedals on both of these, they're plastic. And they're just like a mountain bike quality, I would say. You know, I mean, like the Walmart. Um, well, I got this at um, Target anyway. Well, anyway. So, and then also, this bike right here actually is more heavier than this one is. Because I weighed this one at about 31 pounds. Like when I left it, like I got on the scale with me on it. I, I weighed it at about 31 pounds, like the specs says. And this one weighed in at about 27. So this one is lighter. And, and, then, and then the other thing too, I think it's like the, all the components on these bikes, I think they're like the, the typical components that you would find in a Walmart bike. But some of these, um, I think like these derailers, this is a uh, Sh Shimano Tourney. TZ. I mean, I think these are uh, derailers that you could buy for like maybe fifteen to twenty dollars on eBay each. And then, well, this sprocket here. But one thing I really like about this bike, one thing I think is really cool about it is is the look. I love the style. I love the look of the bike. It, it it's so racy. It's racy looking. You know that. That's what I think is really cool about this bike. It's really racy style. Like it's like it looks like a Tour de France style bike. You know, like it looks like something that you could that anybody like would think that you paid a lot of money for. You know, it looks like something expensive. It has that expensive look, in other words. But I mean, like. It's the expensive look for just 200 bucks. I mean, you can look expensive for $200. And with this bike, you know, so well, this is a Schwinn. I mean, I, the styling is nice on this one too. 
I mean, it's, it's a race style, a racing style. And then, well, anyway, uh, and then the shifters, as I saw, is the same thing. They're the exact, they're exact same thing. That bike, though, this has disc brakes. And this one has the calipers. For me, it's like, I kind of, I sort of prefer the caliper brakes on bikes like this, but I mean, the disc brakes are nice too. I mean, I mean, I mean, as long as they stop the bike, I'm fine, but I like the style of the calipers, supposedly style, you know, style wise. But it seems like the, the brakes on this one, it works really good. It's like really strong. It, 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 it grabs on really strong. And and these these the brakes are weak on this. I mean they don't like they're well I don't know I mean I just have to ride it more but it feels like they're weak. Like they don't really like it feels like it's well well, well the way it feels like it feels like it's kind of uh, labored you know labored braking like the lever it feels like I have to put labor on putting it on but I mean it's this one is not like that you know this one goes down easy but you know the brakes work really good on this based on the first ride that i had on it but all in all i would say all in all i think this bike would be something that that would that i would use that i would rather use for long distance or racing style riding or just long distance one of the re re reasons is because of these skinny tires too. It has this bike has skinnier tires than that one does, and this and then this one has a bigger sprocket at the front. So I mean I could get more speed. I get more speed with that. And this bike is lighter, and and somehow I feel like it's a little easier to pedal this bike, because basing on just the first ride with this one, I felt like it was kind of heavy, you know, or I felt like. It was tiring a little bit, but I probably just have to make adjustments or tune up or whatever, or to tune it. I have to because it's brand new. I mean, I have to break it in and I have to tune it like to the way I like it. And well, somehow I felt like this bike was was a little hard, was a little more harder based on the first ride to ride it, to use it, or to go up that hill. I was able to climb the hill no problem without stopping or anything, but. It, it kind of reminded me everything of a mountain bike, you know, the way the way it rode going up the hill. It reminded me of the mountain bike, of the way it performed like on that for the instant. And then the shifting on this is not really that smooth. It's not smooth. I think I heard because a chain needs to be lubricated well or whatever that is. I have to go through it a little bit more, but. Yeah, so I mean the, I mean the shifting didn't seem all that smooth, and even this one is not the smoothest thing in the world, but it, it does its job though. I mean it's fine with me, but I think this one probably does better on the shifting than this one does. But that's, I just have to ride it more, I guess. So, all in all, I would say that this one is just kind of like this one basing on the first ride i mean i would feel that this one reminds me of my target mountain bike that i had the, it was a terra 2.6 the way the quality of the ride it kind of felt like that which i mean it's like i'm not saying that the target bikes are bad i mean it, it, i was really impressed with the way the target bike rode i i really was impressed with that bike you know for being a hundred dollars but this bike kind of reminded me of it you know it reminded me of like the uh, rougher it's kind of like a rougher ride because you know it has a skinnier tires naturally but this bike i mean it, it's the way it performs it's just like the mountain bike <clears throat> reminded me everything of it because i guess because of the gears uh, the uh, sprocket here is small it's a mountain bike sprocket basically just like it to me anyway but it's like saying um it's like riding the mountain bike but with with a lot of style with with the race bike style and look and this one is made more for speed this is more more like it's made with the intent for speed or for um or, or having speed and going fast and stuff it's made for the intent for long distance 
and speed and then this one the way it looks is kind of like maybe made a like to to look look very fast and and everything but it's just more like a mountain bike but don't get me wrong I, I can use this for speed too if I really wanted to although I will may not be able to go as fast I mean I mean it's like I cannot even say that mountain bikes are slow but because you know I have a mountain bike this one this electric bike right here I mean it's a mountain bike but I feel like it's really fast and I think the reason why is because of the sprocket this is big it's a big sprocket on the front so that gives more speed so I would imagine that if I could probably upgrade this sprocket then this bike would be great it would be just about as good as this one for speed wise you know speed wise and performance wise speed that type of thing well anyway all in all so that's what I have to say but oh yeah and another thing too well uh, the, the other day when I was going home from my job well I, I rode it to my job and then I got a flat right away I right, got a, a flat tire right away this back tire it got a thorn you know a, a tiny thorn got the tire already so I went ahead and I just like put I put like some strips of um, cardboard or I mean I, I put strips of cardboard all the way around both rims both the tires to add some protection against thorns so I can poke the cardboard instead of the tube and then I put some of the slime the green slime the the flat sealer you know I put some of that stuff and I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing on this bike too so I mean so that's what I have to that's my review and my first impressions with these two bikes so I mean if I had to if I had to choose one uh, well it would probably be this one it would probably be this one because this one is like um bad it's more better for speed i mean for all depending on what what you're using the bike for but if, if uh, this bike would be great for someone who who doesn't ride bikes a lot i mean who just rides bikes once in a while like just locally it would be good for local riding but you can use it for long distance, who cares? I mean, who cares about the characteristics of the bike that it lacks, you know? But I mean, I, that, this bike would be more like for someone, would be more fit for someone who just does local riding, like around the town and, and wants to look really cool and expensive.